I am officially in my new car. Ooh. Hey guys, James here from Car Audio Etc. This is my new car. So if you just tuned in, uh, both my vlogging channel and my car audio channel are now watching this. So that's why you'll probably see a double up if you watch both of my channels. Just saves me going over the car twice. I, I can just do it the one time. So, 2014 Subaru Legacy 2.5i Limited, I think. I'm not sure what the spec of it is. But um, it's a 2.5 litre engine. I didn't need the 3.6 litre. That is just too much. Uh, not too much power, but I just wanted it, you know, to be, I just wanted it to be, you know, economic on the fuel side of things. We are going to have this car for quite a while, so in the long scheme of things, that 1.1 um, litre difference of engine size in two cylinders will add up in fuel economy. So that's why I went for the 2.5 litre. So the reason I went for a wagon and not a sedan, surprisingly wasn't for the boot space. Sedans had really, really good boot space, they had everything we need. But the wagon versions, uh, me and Jess both have dogs, so we can take our dogs in these cars, which is what we want. Decent sized boot here for the dogs, and if we want to, we can just pull these levers and fold the back seats forward, which is something that I really think is cool. This can come out, obviously, and then we've got a lot of space back here. Tow bar is already on it, so that's good. 17 inch wheels, tinted, everything's good to go. Automatic headlights, automatic window wipers, fog lights, HID headlights. Okay, so in here, uh, oh, just turn the wheeling down. The reason I, you know, went for this one and not other ones is this one was like, like is a rarer version, has part leather upholstery. Most of the other ones of these cars just have regular cloth upholstery, whereas this is, you know, leather armrest, leather side trims on all the seats and, and the center seat in the back. It's got SI drive, cruise control. This button relates to the eyesight cameras, which are these bad boys here. So these monitor uh, the, your position in the lane on the road and also uh, how far you are behind the car in front of you and those interface with the cruise control and actively control the car so you can be in cruise control mode and not even have to use the brake or the accelerator you can just let the car pretty much drive itself obviously you still have to steer paddle shifters really cool electric uh, handbrake dual zone climate control so like there's the front zone and the back zone which comes out these vents here in the back of the center console. Electric windows, obviously. Only thing this car really is lacking is some controls for the steering wheel, for the stereo. But I'm gonna put some of those on myself, so not a huge deal. I'm gonna find the OEM panel that has the buttons, put it on, get it going for my new stereo. And that brings me to my next point, which is obviously upgrades. You guys know me. I upgrade all my cars in some way, mostly sound system wise. I will definitely be putting a sound system in this. The radio we got in here now is like just a doubled in something or rather, made in China. Does all the features, not very high quality, obviously not going to be good enough for me. I'm going to put my Pioneer one in there, hook it up to some stereo controls when I get it going. It's going to be all really nicely installed like in an OEM fashion with factory auxiliary and USB inputs in here I'd say. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have lots of videos coming out for this car, which I'm really excited about so I'm going to be doing, and I'm going to do it like you know in a lot of detail as well, I'm going to do like one video per element rather than just like you know a few videos showing the total upgrade of this vehicle it's going to be a lot of uh, separate videos so I'm going to do the stereo the front speakers the back speakers a four channel amplifier a subwoofer amplifier obviously subwoofers steering wheel controls LED mood lighting uh, I plan on somehow making the mirrors automatically fold in when you lock the car so that's up to nine and this is just modifications uh, daytime driving lights that's 10 not sure what I'm gonna do for those yet I'm looking at potentially doing halos or angel eyes or LED bars I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet but I do plan on putting some daytime running lights on this reversing camera front camera for parking OEM style USB and auxiliary and HDMI interfaces that's 13 interior light bulbs need to be replaced with LEDs 14 I'll probably do that actually in the same video as the interior mood lighting so that's 13 capacitor install I forgot about that 14 and then there's all the wires and cables and everything I need to run so getting up to around about 15 videos or so like just for modifications on the vehicle and then before I do all that I'm probably going to do a whole lot of showcase videos as well showcasing this model of car um, not just for you guys my subscribers but also for the general public who are looking to look to buy one of these cars so I'm gonna you know show you guys 
the differences between the different SI drive modes. You got intelligent, sport, sport sharp, the cruise control, how the cruise control interfaces with the eyesight, ah, the uh, the electric handbrake, and how you use that on a hill when you're hill starting. There is a hill start function in this car. I'm going to try and showcase that. And I'm sure there's some more that I've uh, forgotten about. I've got a huge list on my phone inside, but I've just forgotten them all now. If it doesn't, if, if it doesn't show on my face, I am really excited about this car, guys. I cannot wait to start making videos for it, get them out there for you guys. And just also, I really, really like this car. It's a big upgrade from my last one. My last car was the, which I still have out in the front there. It's a 2000 Mitsubishi Legnum. This is a 2014. If you're, in, if you're curious, it's only got 35,000 Ks on the clock, so nice low Ks, should last us a while. Oh yeah, the front speakers, so obviously woofer location, tweeter location. I don't know what I'm going to do for amps yet. Last car, I just put them under the seats. I'm thinking this car, I want to do it a bit more pretty. So I'm thinking maybe an amp rack or something in the boot, maybe. Don't know. Don't know. Also, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for subwoofers yet. That's going to have to be something I'm going to design because I haven't even thought about this stuff yet. And that's, yeah, pretty much it, guys. Um, I'm really stoked about this car. Hope you guys are excited to see some more videos. And as I say at the end of all my videos, guys, thanks for watching and have a good day. One more toot for fun. Oh. <laughs>